Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I'm laughing, y'all. I've just been watching these Sugar the King. If you don't see him on YouTube, I don't have to give a shout out. This man is famous. But when I want to laugh, I watch his videos, y'all. Sugar the King or King Sula, whatever his name is. A comedian. He's an undertaker. A real undertaker in real life. A mortician. That guy, I'm telling you, when I want to laugh and think about other stuff, watch his videos on YouTube. He's amazing. That's why I've been watching his videos for the past hour. I know I gotta get him to do a video, but I just keep watching one after the other after the other. So, anyway, let's get it started. Um, what was I? Old school soul food family. Uh, I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm doing something. You know, I've been doing, telling y'all how to do quick and easy meals for the fall. And, uh, easy, quick when you get home. I'm gonna be doing a lot of these, because, like I say, Life is life for a lot of people. Everybody's different. A lot of people has a lot to do when they get home from work, especially in the fall time. They got kids, three or four kids, some have more. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> My sympathy is with you. If you got more than four kids to deal with, I, I, I'll, I'll pray for you. But uh, I just want to show y'all some quick and easy recipes you can do for especially dinner time. I'm going to show you one idea. People love my old country club recipes I used to do. And I'm going to do a lot of these in, in the fall time that we made a lot on my job. It's very, very popular. This one here is uh, I'm doing a, a chicken enchilada with tomatillo sauce. I'm going to do a fresh roasted tomatillo sauce. I'm going to roast everything in the oven. I'm going to puree it in the uh, blender and then we'll heat it up in the pot. And that's going to be the sauce for my enchiladas. I'm using rotisserie chicken. Of course, we didn't, we, we didn't use rotisserie chicken at my job. We roasted it in the oven. But a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to use some Monterey Jack cheese. And I got some uh, uh, queso fresco that I just grated up. And I'm going to top it with, with some Mexican crema and some cilantro on the top after it's done. I'm using flour tortillas. A lot of people use corn tortillas. I'm not a corn tortilla fan, but it's anything. I do not like corn tortillas. To me, they're too dry. They're not, they don't pliable. They're not pliable. They don't hold together when you're eating them. I just don't like them. Uh, I even got a lot of my friends converted over to eating enchilada with flour tortillas. And they are true Mexicans from Matamoros. <laughs> so I kind of converted them over and show them the difference in it. But they never tried it. So it's up to you. If you want to use yellow or white corn tortillas, you can. But I'm using... Uh, Regular white flour tortillas. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to step off, get everything fabricated and prepped up, and we're going to bring this thing together. First thing I need to do is get this uh, vegetables roasted in the oven. I'm using tomatillas. Now in the store, it's very important when you see tomatillas. Sometimes you'll see them like this, or sometimes you'll see them with a the hole on it. See that? It'll be hidden in the hole, and that hole will come off of there. That's why I left that hole on that particular one. You discharge it, and here's your tomatilla. Do not buy green tomatoes. It is not the same. It's not the flavor, not the same concept, and it will not work. Again, do not use green tomatoes. They must be tomatillas. Tomatillas got that little sourness to it. The nice green color will be after the sauce is ready. So it's very important. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step out, get all these washed up. I got a jalapeno. Let me tell you what I got, how will I have Got tomatillo, the jalapeno. I'm gonna use some whole garlic, which I'm gonna roast it in there too. Red onions, that's and some chicken stock, some salt and pepper. That's all gonna go in the stock. Then I'm gonna go in and put a little cilantro in it after they come out. A little salt and pepper. That's it. This recipe is very simple. The sauce just takes time. You can do this sauce a week ahead, a month ahead, and put it in the freezer. It freezes very well. So I'm gonna make a lot. And I should have enough left over. For next time, when I don't make these into lot, all I gotta do is make the chicken and cheese mixture, and the sauce is already in my freezer. So anyway, we'll be right back and get everything fabricated. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, see what I got here? Now on the pan here, I got my tomatillas, my garlic, my jalapenos, my red onions. We're gonna roast all these in the oven. I got a little olive oil. We're gonna put a little salt and pepper on here. 
And I'm gonna roast these in the oven till they're completely cooked. It's gonna take about 30, 45 minutes. Get a nice, some people boil them, but you know how I feel about boiling uh, vegetables and stuff in the oven. I mean, uh, in the pot. I think it takes the flavor and just puts it in the water. So I always like to roast everything. It just keeps the flavor and the color. So I'm gonna put these in the oven about 30, 45 minutes, get a good roast on them. Now, this is our main base for our sauce. Only thing I'm gonna need to add to this later is some chicken stock and some cilantro at the end. I'm gonna put it in the blender, but I'll show y'all that here uh, in a minute when it's ready. So anyway, I'll put this in the oven. We'll be right back. We're gonna get the chicken diced up and we're gonna make the cheese mixture while this is in the oven. Close enough. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, I got the chicken dice up here. Let me get this stuff mixed up right quick, y'all. Put the chicken here in this big bowl. Okay, all I'm gonna do now, y'all, I'm gonna add a little cilantro to this. I'm gonna put a little Camino, a cumin, however you say it. This is gonna give it that extra, like a smoky type flavor to it. Not in a, like, barbecue, but this little Mexican, I got a little paprika in there. Okay. Like I told you, I got some queso fresco. Let me crumble that up in there. Then I grate it ahead of time there. Got to break these little, little pieces up in there. And I got some jack cheese. And I don't want to put all the jack cheese in there. I don't want to leave a little for the top. So you don't want to put all your cheese. You want to leave some for the top when you put it in the oven. So I'll mix all this up together. And this is my chicken mixture. This is my mixture for my, that's a lot. We're gonna have cheese inside and cheese on the top. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Okay, one thing else I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in here because I know I'm gonna need it. No, I'm gonna need a little salt and pepper in the mixture. And that's it. Now, that's ready to go. Let's see how easy that is, y'all. You get your rotisserie chicken, dice it up, get you some grated cheese, and just mix it together. Put whatever seed, you can put chili powder in here, you can add coriander, maybe some garlic powder in there, garlic salt, however you wanna do it, do it your way. I'm just giving you the camera. So anyway, we're gonna step off Wait till my uh, tomato cheese get ready. We're gonna make the sauce up right quick. It'd be time to put these in the oven. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, I got the vegetables here. Move this out the way. Out the oven, see this? See that? Now, all I'm gonna do, we just gonna blend this off. I need to blend it till it get really, really smooth. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this right in the blender here. And pour everything in there, the juice and everything. See how pretty those tomatillos got? Everything's pretty much cooked, even though I'm gonna cook it on the stove. Another 10 or 15 minutes after I get it blended, but I'll show y'all that in a second. Main thing is get everything in the garlic is nice and roasted. That's why I say I like to roast my stuff, y'all. Y'all been following me enough. I'm all about building flavors, y'all. You boil vegetables and stuff like that, you're not building flavors. Okay, we're gonna put this bad boy on here. There we go. Now I got a little chicken stock over here to kind of help me if this doesn't get. You're gonna add just a little chicken stock, not much, y'all, to this. I definitely don't want it too thick, and I don't want it too thin as well. And we're going to add our cilantro right at the end. The other thing I need to do, I need to get it blended very, very well. Now, 
Right at the end, I'm gonna add my cilantro to this. It's gonna give it a good color. taste this y'all and see the taste of it. It looks beautiful though right now. So I'm gonna get a taste see if we need any salt and pepper. But I can do that in the pot because I'm not gonna blend this anymore. So I got my pot here. I'm gonna pour it right into the pot. Uh, it's pretty soft. I'm gonna taste it here and see if I need to add any more seasoning. Man, this tastes amazing y'all. You got that little Put a little salt and pepper in there. You got that little, if you ever taste the tomatillas, they have a little uh, sourness to it. And with the spiciness from the, from there, let me get a little spoon here, y'all. Spiciness from the jalapeno. Oh, wow. That is a perfect, perfect homemade tomatillo sauce. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on the stove and let it simmer about five more minutes. It's pretty much cooked, but I like to let it simmer about five more minutes. They give me time to get everything set up. I wish to roll these tortillas and put this in the oven. We'll just have dinner here in just a second. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. All right, y'all, let's get the world in here, y'all. First thing I want to do, I'm gonna put some sauce in the bottom of my casserole dish here. Put the tomatillo sauce right in the bottom. We're gonna have some on top and the bottom. It's gonna be a nice ooey, gooey type enchilada, y'all. Put it over a little. Do a couple at a time here and I'll show y'all and I'll come back and I'll finish them up. So all I'm gonna do, take my shrimp, shrimp. Got shrimp on my mind, y'all. Put my chicken and cheese mixture in here, right there. You don't want to put too much, but you want to put enough where everybody gets some love when they bite into the tortilla. And I like to roll mine, cap mine like that, cap it in, roll it like that, put it, put the fold side down. See this? Fold it in like that. I keep wrapping the present, roll it in like that, fold side down, and I like to put them, some people gonna say, oh, that's a burrito. It's an enchilada, y'all. It's an enchilada made with flour tortillas. So roll that in there, gotta be really, really tight with it. Push that in right there, I'll do one more. And I got 10 to do. Once I get the 10 in here, we'll come back. And we'll show you what I'm going to do next. So, anyway, y'all got that? We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. All right, y'all, I got them all in there. I got 10 in here. All right, now, all I'm going to do now, remember that sauce I had? We're going to put that sauce all on there, y'all. Look at that. Make sure you cover all that sauce on there, y'all. Goodness, 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 huh? Make sure all that sauce gets on here. Cover up all that enchilada because you want it nice and gooey. All nice and gooey there. Let's save us a little to put on my plate for the presentation. Okay, we got the sauce on there. Now we're going to come back with our rest of our Monterey Jack. cheese here. Hold on y'all, just a second. I should have had this done. Alright. We're going to go on here with our cheese. Like I said, this going to get nice and bubbly and cheesy and like, like an enchilada is supposed to be, right? Just like you want an enchilada to be. Nice and cheesy. There we go. How you like that? How you like that? Okay. We're going in the oven 350 degrees, probably about 25, 30 minutes. 
until they get and that cheese get nice and melty and the whole thing get nice and bubbly and we'll have a whole pan of old school tomatilla chicken enchiladas we'll be right back all right y'all we are back here nice and bubbly just got out the oven y'all look at that look at those chicken enchiladas y'all now last thing i'm gonna do i like to put a little like i say the mexican crema on there i'll go through that like that with it oh y'all just a second here put a look come on out of there come on out of there put it on there like that get the rest of it out of here y'all All right, and now I'll put some little cilantro on there. Just put a little cilantro leaves on there just like that. We got us a nice, awesome meal. It didn't take all day. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off here, do that world famous YouTube thumbnail, and we're gonna be back here, and we're gonna taste these old school uh, tomatillo cheese enchilada. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. We are back, 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 back. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. Look at this good old goodness here and didn't take all day to make. I'm telling you, you put this on your, get you, get you some beans and rice to go with this, but I'll just tell you, I don't need no beans and rice to go with this. This is a meal in itself. Look at that. That's a meal in itself right there. It's all homemade. Like I said, you can use flour tortillas, like me, or you can use your uh, corn tortillas if you want, but I'm all about the flour. So let's go into this, y'all. All that cheesy goodness there. Let's get a good bite here. Cut through all that cheese. Y'all know I got it really, really, really cheesy. Get a good bite here. Get a little sauce there. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. A little bit closer. Here, y'all open up. Anyway, going in. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's good, y'all. Mm. Wow. Mm. A cheesy goodness there, y'all. Oh, my God. I put a little of that sauce on the bottom. Mm, mm, mm. For the plate. Okay. Oh, wow. Let me tell you what I'm tasting. The tonatilla had a little sour taste, and it balances out well with the spices and seasoning that I put in there. It's such a well balanced dish. I just feel. And then that crema has a little sweetness to it, not a lot. It's a well-balanced, well-balanced dish, y'all. That little piece right there want to come off. Put cheese on that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm. Like I said, you can use it. You can use corn with this, but flour touchy, it just soaks up all that goodness, y'all. Soaks all that goodness up. Absolutely amazing. And the jalapeno. And not really spicy. Once you roast a jalapeno off, it kills that last spiciness of it. So, a little tip for people are thinking that the jalapeno going to make it hot. Mm -mm. Well, I don't eat spicy food. So, anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. I'm going to hashtag 2023 just show some kindness. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.